Magic 8 Ball, I'm a big fan of your work. Welcome back, everyone. It's me, Jack, live in the Bucky House, joined by the Magical 8 Ball. That's right. Looks like a hunk of plastic. And yet, it is so much more. I purchased this Magic 8 Ball from my local Bartels Pharmacy uh, all the way back in the year 2012 for, I think, $9 when we were running late to our birthday party. Oh. We didn't end up giving it away for that birthday party. We had another backup gift. And lo, these many years since, the Magic 8 Ball has been a permanent residence of the Live for the Monkey House family. That's right. And uh, as a member of the family, Magic 8 Ball, you're always welcome to be here on the air to answer questions from our listeners. Listeners, you want to do it again? I, I sure hope so, because we got a question. They're all lined up to pose a question to you and receive your answer magically. Let's meet them now. Audience, give it up for the inquiring mind of Ollie in Michigan. <laughs> Hello, Ollie. Are you there? Yes. Hello. Welcome to the Monkey House. Thank you for bringing a question. Uh, have you ever used a magic eight ball before? No, until the start of this, I didn't even know what one was. Oh, oh, so this is sort of an educational edition of Life of the Monkey House. Well, that's great. Uh, that means you get to count this as homework. Today's show, and anyone else out there, if you had never heard of a Magic 8-Ball before, I think you get class credit for this. Just tell your teacher tomorrow or whenever school starts that you learned about a Magic 8-Ball, and I think that you'll get extra points for your class. <laughs> well, Ollie, as you know, all you have to do is ask a question, give it a shake, and you're going to get an answer. Did you bring a question with you? Yes. Yeah. Well, that means you did your homework. What is your question, Ollie? If the magic eight eight ball oh, oh, had legs, would it like to run everywhere? Interesting question. Okay, so this is an if-then type question. If the I magic mean, eight ball... Oh, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, it's a yes, no. Oh, it's a yes, no. Okay, but uh, you're, you're asking the question, uh, if the magic eight ball had legs... Yes or no, would it like to run everywhere? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, let me ask you a question, Ollie. Do you like to run everywhere? Yep. You do? Okay. Uh, and uh, where do you tend to run? Well, in, the, in, in my, gra my grandma's house. Oh, yeah, I live in Wales, just saying. Oh, wait, you said you you live in Wales? Yeah. No kidding. Oh, wow. Wait, do you live I in Wales? I live for my summer break. I see. Wait, so you're visiting us from uh, from Wales in the United Kingdom, and you're here in the United States on your summer holiday. Yeah. That, that's what it's called in Wales, right? It's not called vacation. It's called holiday. Do I have that right? Well, we do call it a vacation, too. We call you it can call it a vacation. Yeah. Holiday or vacation. Um, wow, that's great. Oh, my gosh. That's exciting. So, wait, did you say that you're visiting your grandma in Michigan? Grandparents. Grandparents, I see. My, my grandma lives in Wales, baby, and they often do some laps in her house with the door to the back. Oh, I see. Okay, so you do laps in there. So you've got a lot of ex you've got a lot of experience with running around. You've done this a bunch. Yeah, and they always run run out of control sometimes in the house and go silly and everything. And I sometimes go silly and everything and run around out of the park too. That's the most common. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let me ask you another question. Uh, I've From uh, my friends who uh, are from the U.K., I've heard that they don't call them sneakers. When they run around in running shoes, they call them trainers. Is that correct? Trainers, trainers, trainers. Trainers, yes. Okay, and uh, do you have a particular type of trainers that you like to wear when you run? Well, I prefer to... Well, really, all trainers are mostly the same. I prefer the strap ones. Okay, gotcha. Not good at Cause I'm still not good at tying my shoes. Hey, me either. Hey, listen, I've been tying my shoes for a long time, and I could still use some slip-ons or Velcros. That's fine with me. <laughs> I'm just curious because Magic 8-Ball, you know, might need some advice on good trainers and good places to run. Sounds like you would make an excellent running coach, Ollie. W would you like to be Magic 8-Ball's running coach? That'd be fun. Yeah, that would be fun. I mean, here's that you'd get a whistle, you'd get a clipboard... Uh, I think you'd get, like, a cup of water that you could hold out, and Magic 8-Ball would grab it and, you know, uh, drink it really fast and crush it on its head before it keeps running. Uh, you'd be, like, a really inspirational person for Magic 8-Ball. Well, I must say, the best place to run is in the park. In the park, yeah. okay. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. You have the most space. A, a plus if you wanted the house 
there's always problems of accidentally breaking stuff or running oh. into people or stuff. Well, that's my problem. I, uh, by absolutely, or accidentally breaking yeah. stuff, that's me, but I'll accidentally break my arm or my leg. I'm very clumsy. <laughs> well, um, Ollie, really, let's... I meant stuff around the house. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, this, my stuff around the house is safe. It's me that I'm going to break. Ollie, let's ask this question for realsies this time and get an answer from the Magic 8-Ball. Can you ask your question one more time, and then we're going to give it a shake? If the Magic 8-Ball has legs, would it not swallow out everywhere? This is a yes-no question. This is a yes-no question, and we're going to find out the answer. Let's give it a shake. Magic 8-Ball. Ollie and the entire world, the entire UK audience, too, is wondering, if you had legs, would you like to run uh, everywhere? And the answer is, wait, sorry, it's, it's stuck on the edge here. Oh, this is a good one. It is certain. It is certain why that is a strong yes, Ollie. So, yes. And that sounds like you've got a job as a trainer for Magic 8-Ball uh, once it's found its trainers. Ollie, thank you for calling. Thanks. This is my first time calling and I was super, super nervous while the last songs were going. Oh, so, hey. Wait, this is your first time calling ever? Yeah. I only started, started listening to Kids Place Live at the beginning of the summer vacation. Oh, of course, because uh, we're not broadcast in Wales. Well, I got great news for you. Ollie, you get to go straight to your kitchen and pick out your very own spatula prize. That's right. Go to your nearest kitchen, pick out a spatula, and that's yours to keep. Although, what do you call a spatula in Wales? Is that called a spatula, or is it called, like, a flipper? What do, what do you call it there? A spatula. Oh, great. <laughs> we have the same word for it. Audience, give it up for Ollie in Michigan, a brand-new spatula owner. Oh my gosh, everyone, through the art of magic, we just crossed the pond.